Alola, welcome to the Wolf Pack. My name is Sand Distress83, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Today, we are going to be going to Area Zero. Why? Well, I mean, I don't got anything better to do. Let's be honest. <laughs> but, I'm going to do this legit. I'm going to go to Medali. Wait, Medali. I think that's a place I can go. I need to do something there anyway first. I want to see if I can, you know, go change my Terra type. Now, how, what, what Terra shards do I have enough of? I think the only one I have enough of is uh, ice. So, if I get any... Oh. Shit. What? Oh, wait. Alright, let's, uh... Set his destination. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna. Remember when I said we were gonna do things a little legit? We still are. We are still. It's not the way you think. We're gonna climb. About it. Now who are these allies? Yeah. Hey, over here. Who's over? Okay, so who is it? It looks kind of cool. This is the Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the Great Pyramid of Aldea, what folks call areas here. It's our take it down to the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born or something like that. Maybe I'll be happy I can finally come back home. Not that I really care or anything. Anyway, our two new teammates should be here waiting for us inside the, zero, the gate, the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Is it the way home? Home. Where those cool kids are going to the da the most dangerous part of Paldea. I don't know how to feel. It makes me feel excited. Wait. So we need people that are good with battling. And people that can handle technology. Well, me and the Mona got the battles covered. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Nimona! Oh, that's sad. I haven't said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Once she heard she gets the battle awesome Pokemon, she was here for in a second. You're an annoying little pest, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where's the awesome Pokemon? Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. The last time I was here, the electrician was up and running, but now... Well, now the lights are on. But why? I... I turned them on. Seems like they were on power saving mode. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag. Um... I guess my name's Penny. Hey, well, hey, I've never, we've never actually got to talk. I'm the Mona. I'm in class one A. It must be some kind of tech whiz. Do you like Pokemon battling too? Uh, you talk like way too much. Ah! The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny has also agreed to help in a second when she heard what it was to help Sand. I'm not really the inventor type, but I owe you, Sand, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My my love includes my map of and cooking. Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Sand. I have been expecting you. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Um, sorry, who are you? That's my mom. Probably. 
What? That's Professor Sada. Namona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Arvin, did you, uh, tell your mom about us? What, what, when would I have to done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask you all to make your way down to the Great Crater Powder. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you see to your right. <gasps> it's time! Um, Mom? Please proceed below. Are they not on good terms? Must not be. We're going to Area Zero, folks! I get to see some cool Pokemon! Here I go! <laughs> Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. <gasps> Access granted to lower level. Ooh, it opened up for us automatically. Not quite. It looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will be above Area Zero. Sand, you have brought Coridon with you? Yes. Thank I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Coridon's Goliath community, you'll be able to ascend into the depths to reach Area Zero. What? Isn't there like an elevator or something? Wait, did you say Coridon can fly? When you reach the bottom, I will get in touch once again. I hope your trip is uneventful. Railroady people into stuff, just like always. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Is she just jumping off? <laughs> that girl, is she like incapable of fear or what? So she just jumped off the building. I guess we better go too. Hold on, give me a minute. I want to look around. You penis. Let me at least look around. Okay, there's no items. There's no turning back now. I hope you guys are ready to ride Coridon. Sam, ready for the worst? Bring it! Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon doors and we'll be off. Come on out, Coridon! Yeah. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Hmm. Scared of heights? That's what I'd say. Well, no wonder. But no need to be scared of heights if we go together. How does that logic work? Where am I gonna sit? Get on! They just leave me behind. Yeah! This is my Pokemon! <laughs> it is fun, I'll give him that. So now I have access to Area Zero. I'm actually excited! I want to see all the cool Pokemon. So this is Area Zero. What a wonderful place. Really, it is beautiful. There's a town here? Where's the Mona? And now I'm back here again. I think I might have died one or once or twice there. What's wrong, buddy? Yeah. It chose to go back into its ball. It's probably just hungry or something. Wait a second. Where's the student council, girl? Are you kidding me? What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. 
Area Zero is amazing! What's it like? I've never actually... Come on already! I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? Biometric identification progress. Four humans detect identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs are all within normal range. It appears you're able to make it to the descent without being harmed. Ha! Yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. What could po who could possibly complain about a land like that? That is good. I have concern. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm. I think your sar mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Aw, oh, you were worried about it? That's so sweet. You should now make your way to Area to me, to me at the Zero Lab in the deepest part of Area Zero. However, the entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Four locks. On your way to me, you must visit four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Ooh. At each station, you will, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you may, as you wish, on your way down. I hope you succeed. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? Come on, time to find, find, find our way to the deepest part of the Area Zero. Yeah, but first, first, give me a minute. I actually want to. Wait, Venomoth live here? I'm in a good mood. I'm having a good time. And first, we need to check some stuff. I want to look around. You can't ride Karide on here. What? Am I not allowed to? Wait, what? They're actually following me. It's kind of cool. This place is weird, though. Give them that. Oh, why? Is that a Cormanite? Look at all of that. So this is the inside of the Great Crater, huh? Feels different kept just from just seeing it in our books. Normally we'd never be able to get in here to see it for ourselves, huh? Wait, where'd Coridon go? It seems like it got spooked by something. It's hiding in its ball. And Cyril? That's no good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Ah, uh, should be alright. The last time I was here, I caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through, no matter what. Why didn't you just call the professor if she's down here? Didn't you get along or something? Psh, none of your business, pipsqueak. Jeez, no need to bite my head off. What are you getting all huffy for, anyway? Okay, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's just have a good time. Item! Item! An elixir. There's a Raichu! Wait, did I come through one of these earlier? Wait. I just realized something. I was at one... I think I was at one of these earlier. So I'm a dumbass. I really just want to get Arvin to run off the cliff. I know it's dark in me, but I don't give two shits. Hey, there's a Braviary. Kinda cool. I didn't think I'd see them here. There are a lot of cool Pokemon you can find around here. It really is beautiful. Look at this place. There's an item here. It was a Max Potion.
At least I have Nimona here. Let's go, buddies. Get him. There's a giraffe rig here. What if I'll find its evolved form? Oh, I love that. So there's a group of Corviknight. Apparently you can find stones here too. Alright, let's explore. While we're down here. You know, it's not every day you get to come to the Great Area Zero. Unless you become the, the champion and all that. Got a Leaf Storm, so I can teach it Leaf Storm. Tootsie Leaf Storm. There's a Jump Bluff down here, barely? Didn't know about that. A lot of good Pokemon. Like, there's Raichu, there's a Corviknight, there's a Braviary. I mean, the list goes on. It's a really nice place. Got a naughty mint. Cool. There's a you can find gold duck down here. It's like a group of them. There's like so much. Hey, there's an item. Some citrus berry. Some citruses. Um, a dust stone. Another citrus berry. Thank you. I'll take all the citruses in the world. Got another shiny stone. Get away. <sighs> Got another citrus berry. It's like a citrus farm. A pichu fur? Um, a pitaya berry. Another citrus. A TM for hydro pump, apparently, down here. I didn't think I could find one of those anytime soon. But whatever, to each their own. More Pichu fur. There is a Vaporeon. I can guarantee it. Oh, hey, more citrus. Thank you. Are you okay? Sir, or, or ma'am, are you okay? Do we need to call a doctor or something? Or a scientist? A lot of citrus berries. Look at this tree. So weird. Oh, cool. Hey, uh, giraffe rings back. Hey, and one of these things. Is that a fluette? Oh my god. This place is beautiful. I found one of the labs. All right, back up. I actually want to explore, like proper exploring. Oh, well, so I see one of the labs at least, so that's good. Let's see what else I can find. There's like a lot of Pokemon here. Wait, what are you? Oh, I thought you were something else for a second. Apparently not. It's just a figment of my imagination. Okay, let's get that item because I'm. I don't. I'm, as much as I'm gonna come down here later on, 
I don't want to get messed up. I don't want to forget anything right now. So immersed. It's just beautiful. There's like a knackly, there's a knacka stack, or whatever they're called. It's got a TM for Flare Blitz. Apparently. So that's fun. Got a Raichu. Two Raichu! It looks very kind of sad. I'll do that. Feel bad for it. But wasn't there an item just down here? Oh, there, it's still there. Okay. I got a rare bone. Hey, it's Talon Flame! Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. What's this dust I keep seeing around? That must be one of the buildings the professor was talking about. Oh, yeah. Is that what they called? Radish rations? Research stations? <laughs> well, that was close. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. What's great is my common sense compared to you lot, apparently. Shit! Yeah, what the heck is that? That's a Pokemon La Primera uses. I know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Sam, let's take it on together. Glamour! What? Wait, can I? Ca oh, I can't catch it! Okay. Was that a one hit kill? Dude, what the hell? <sighs> Are there going to be a lot more of these rare Pokemon? Down here, you think? You think that was something, please? You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? Easy to know. Let's just get inside the research station. Aren't I supposed to be the leader? Um, I thought I was like. Whoa, I got a Glimmit Crystals, apparently. Well, I can rock live down here. Some Braviary. Let's get this item. It's a Nubber Dusk Stone. I want the item! Is there somebody in here I have to worry about? Well, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a space station for those surveying Area Zero. That explains the bed. So that's why there's a bed. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Sand, if you would be so kind as to disable that first, the first lock on the lab using that central panel. You hear depressor, better press it. Walk disabled. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Hmm. This kid really has a lot of mommy and daddy issues, apparently. I mean, Lily was the same, to be fair. I I almost never saw my mom my whole life. Oh, is this is it time for that the backstory reveal? Penny shh. She was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. I cooked for myself, cleaned for myself. Nabasif was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know her at all. Even if she is my mom. I try not to think too much about it. Trying to be just be proud that she was a good genius. But the truth is, I would rather have just had a mom than anything else. I haven't seen her for ages unless you count everyone else. Used to get emails sometimes, but that's about it. Even when she appears out of the blue and tells me we gotta come to Area Zero. 
some family, right? Oh, well, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry, but I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, I was also giving you a hard time. Sorry, uh, Penny. My name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a little pipsqueak. <laughs> Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit you do. I'm just exploring now. So apparently these two, um, you know. Still having my time. I want to see paradoxes. Ugh. Well, there's two items I can see. I'm definitely going to have to explore around here later. I do not have much time on my hands, sadly. I got a max, three max ethers. Uh, why can't I ride Karidon? Is there something going on here? I got a hyper potion. Ah! Ah! Oh, I don't know. What the heck? What's she doing here? How'd you guys get here? Nope, oh, sorry. Oh, I thought those were shiny first. These things are a really good level. I mean, they're not strong enough to beat La Primera, but, you know, they're somewhere. Come on. The last time I came to the Great Trader, I was trying to go see my mom. I got this one, but then I got attacked by some kind of creature I've never seen before. Hey, what kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon, more like a crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. I'm sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampaging in average? Yeah, I'm sure it was like a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt Mammoth real bad, so it's not like I just forget. Can this Corviknight go? <sighs> Away. Thank you. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? And I really hope I get to see it. That's what I figured you'd say. You really tax us sometimes, you know, you know that? Well, research station numero es tres. I love this. Slide inside inside. Blanky. When will I see Paradox Pokemon? Oh. Found the second lab. Hello, Braviary and Corviknight. Oh, there's a giraffe race. <gasps> oh! Found one! I found one of the new ones! Faragareth, or whatever they're called. The second research station. About time, too. Is someone going to guard this one? A Glamora? Phew, let's head in and take a breather. I thought you had a bit more stamina, student castle girl. Heh <laughs> oh, heh. Just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. <gasps> hey look! A Jigglypuff! It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here. Wait. Pew? That's not a jiggly. Oh my gosh, so cute! That's not a Jigglypuff. It's related to it. Pew. <laughs> what? What? What the what? Sand, it's battle time. Am I battling with all three of them? It's, what's this thing going again? What are you calling again? Scream Tail. Well, that's a dumb name. Psychic Fangs. It really hurt me there. 
Seems level 62. Let's just... We're gonna take this thing down, and then we're gonna go inside, and then turn on the generator, and then we're gonna end the video. I wanna sleep. Full power crunch! I'll be honest, I'm actually gonna keep the crunch. Thanks for lowering something. Attack! And now you're going to rest. Great. Great. Yep. There. At least it won't be able to move for a while. Let's go. As long as it doesn't have, like, dr sleep talk, we're good. There we go. Crunching it up. It's almost down. Wait, it's... What? Can you just attack it? Never mind, you don't need to. I wish I could have caught this one. So I'm going to be seeing those around a bit. As someone just leveled up. Good. Doing good training here. Seriously, what was that? Damn, darn thing scared me half to death. It was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglepuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside. One more jump scare like that, and I'm done for. Like, done here or done dead? I'm curious. Sorry. I just get curious. What's behind this one? Found a venom off. That was having a quiet mint, apparently. I don't know why I would want a mint, especially a quiet one. Hey, I found another research station. Just over there. Yeet, 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 yeet. Inside we go. I'm definitely going to have to spend some time down here. Well, this looks pretty much like the same as the first research station. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Hey, seriously, what's with this place? That Pokemon. I've been wondering about that myself. I think that Pokemon, maybe that Pokemon is one of these. Huh? What's that book? The Monsters of Area Zero. As we descended further into Area Zero, we began to catch glimpses of mysterious Pokemon. Though, we wondered if these ferocious beasts were Pokemon, indeed Pokemon at all. One of our teams suffered a, a, suffered a brutal bl blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded, forcing us to retreat, retreat at a time. A member of the survey team... Captured this photograph by chance. It was a, a notice of a, a notice of passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Don Fan. Yet differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart. As do its great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero. So they aren't actually Pokemon. I don't really know. What do you think, San? I don't really think they are Pokemon. I don't think they're regular Pokemon. Maybe. They definitely do look a different, at least. And I've never seen any of them in a Pokedex, either. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Professor, some of the life forms that you see, that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in the distant past lost, long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on, that's no, there's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So that thing, the thing my mom spent forever researching down here, she actually got it working? Indeed, though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? 
but a time machine means you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically possible to travel to the past. However, for being such for being a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you Why'd you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I if possible, I would like to speak us to speak when we can, can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Now in sand. Please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Poor kid. Well, you heard the professor. Better press it. Lock disabled. Well done. The remaining. Hey, Sand. You know that book she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. One or, or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. I think you are. I think you should be the one to carry it. The Scarlet Book. A record of the expedition that the author Heath went on within the great crater of Paldea. The book has the name Sada written on it in clumsy handwriting. Take care of it for me. Okay, Sand? So, that's it for this video. In the next episode, we will continue our mission in the Crown Tundra. Or, sorry, not the Crown Tundra, the, you know, in Area Zero. Till then, thank you all very much for watching, and as always, I will see you all next time on Pokemon Scarlet. Bye guys!